If you want to move your player by swiping the screen in Unity, this tutorial is for you. I have already configured my player to be moved by arrow keys. But if you want to play this game on a touchscreen device, you will most likely want to add swipe controls to your player, because they are very practical for movement, especially if you don't want the on-screen controls, like buttons. The best way to do it is to disable your first script for player movement and add a new c -sharp script. The next thing you should do is to open your input actions asset and add a new action. Name it swipe. Set its control type to value and any. Now you have to add a binding that will be set to delta pointer because when you touch the screen, Unity registers your touch as a pointer. The movement of your finger is a delta movement, like moving your mouse on the screen. Now you can go to the C-sharp script and add these lines of code. You have to add some components like public float, jump speed, player force, direction force and minimum swipe distance. After that you have to introduce the character controller, name it controller. The vector tree velocity, I will call it bell. The float gravity. Add the public bool, move left, move right, vector tree, movement vector, and for the input action, you need to add the swipe action and the vector 2 value, which is swipe delta. I will explain these things later. For the implementation of the input system, first I will add the character controller get component because it's private. Then Input system setup can be written with var input actions equals new input system. In my project, the input actions asset is called input system, which is some kind of asset that I use for controls for the new input system. The action is called swipe action, so swipe action equals input actions move swipe. Swipe action enable. Put it in void awake, but you also need the void on enable and on disable, which is a thing that I already explained in my previous tutorials. Now you have to add void update and add these two lines of code, detect swipe and update movement. These are some private voids that will be added in your script. Swipe delta, swipe action read value. This is the line of code that reads the vector2 value which is defined at the beginning of the script, because the movement of your fingers is a two-dimensional vector. Now we need to check if swipe delta magnitude is larger and equal than minimum swipe distance, which is the swipe distance that when you hold your finger, your player will be moving at the distance. In this if statement, just put the process swipe and in the brackets it says swipe delta. What does that mean? Swipe delta is actually a part of the process swipe void. Write it like this. Private void process swipe vector 2 delta. This is the line that introduces the swipe processing method. The one that consists of float x and float y axis. You should write the x axis like this math abs delta x, and the y axis is written math abs delta y, in which this delta is in the brackets in both cases. Now, if the x is larger than y, if delta x is larger than zero, like it moves to the positive direction larger than zero is moving to the right, so move right. This will be set later in the void, else it will move left if the delta x is smaller than zero, like if it's moving to the negative x, else this part will be for jumping and will be explained later. The next thing you need is the void update movement, because in the void update this line is also important because 
you have to update the movement like you did it in the previous movement script. But this time we are calling another void instead of calling it in void update. First you have to add the horizontal movement vector. Movement vector equals transform forward multiplied with player force. Now if you move to the left the movement vector plus equal is negative transform right. It means because the transform right will move your player to the right. So to move your player left set this value to be negative and multiply it with direction force. Then move left will be set to false. If move right this means if the move right boolean is true. Movement vector plus equal transform right without that minus sign like in the move left. Multiplied with direction force. Then move right becomes false after your player already moves to the right. You also have to apply the movement and velocity. Character controller dot move. Write it like this. Controller dot move. And in the brackets you open both brackets because movement vector plus velocity is one value that is multiplied with time dot delta time. Just write it like this and save the script. But before saving the script, make sure that you already added the private void move left and move right. The move left will have the move left boolean set to true and for the move right, the move right boolean would be set to true. I will test my project by connecting my phone. When I try to swipe on the screen, I can move left and right, but I cannot jump. Don't worry, if you want your player to jump, you have to go back to the script. First, you have to go to the process swipe. In the else, you have to add another if statement. If delta y is larger than zero, and if character controller is grounded. This means if you move your finger to the up, it will call this function jump. You have to add void jump that will say this velocity.y equals math square root sqrt jump speed multiplied with negative 2f multiplied with gravity. And you have to apply gravity in the update movement. If character controller is grounded and velocity y is less than zero, because in Unity the y axis is negative, so that's why you are asking if velocity y is less than zero. Then velocity y becomes negative 2f. Just add one more line that will apply gravity. Velocity.y plus equal gravity multiplied with time dot delta time. Save the script and go back to Unity. I have already exported this project to my phone so I can test it like this. Swipe to the left, I have moved left. Swipe to the right, I'm moving right. And try to swipe up, I can jump. Great job! This is just a basic implementation of a swipe movement in Unity. This project needs a lot more to do in order to become much better and make all the things go smoothly. If you want more tutorials consider subscribing. I will make more tutorials whenever I am available. Stay tuned and have a good day, goodbye.